it's okay. Like, I expect for y'all to bang. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how basketball is supposed to be. It's competitive. But not direct contact where you're trying to hurt somebody. You might not think that's that what's going to happen, but you shove it to somebody and see how that shit feel. You know what? This is what I believe Kaylin's going to have to do to stop all this shit. Kaylin, the next time somebody push you, punch them in their motherfucking face. Punch them right in they shit. Uh, uh, fuck with your soul like ether. Will. Teach you the king, you know you. Nah. Nah, son across the belly. Lose. I prove you lost the race. So Kaylin got a hit out for Kennedy Carter. Kaylin sent the goons out there for Kennedy Carter, man. Apparently, some guy ran up on her, right, and was harassing her. This is what the team said in all these tweets that they put out. Angel Reese and, and Kennedy Carter herself and another teammate said they were just minding their business and they just getting harassed. Somebody ran up on them. Oh my God, what's going on? What's happening? The, I, the, the media world is trying to say that this is a person that ran up on Kennedy Carter, right, in defense of Caitlin Clark. This is what they're trying to paint, this picture. This, they're trying to create this narrative, guys, and that's not what it is to take the fact off that Kennedy Carter shouldn't have fucking shoved that girl to the ground. So somebody did run up on Kennedy Carter, but it was a fucking paparazzi dude. Dude walked up on him. He's like, hey, Kennedy. Kennedy, hey, Kennedy, have you have you answered for what you did, huh? Did you did you say sorry? Have you been in contact? That's all this motherfucker said. That's not threatening or harassing. He just asked you a goddamn question. Did you apologize? Because goddamn it, he's right. There's a reason why your motherfucking ass should be apologizing. You shoved this bitch to the ground. Yeah, I'm talking about it. Somebody in the comments was like, y'all still talking about this? It was six days ago. It doesn't fucking matter. It's relevant. It's relevant. To a person like me who's seeing people getting their ass whooped right now. I watched the game last night, though. I watched the game last night with Angel Reese and Carter. So, amazingly, this motherfucker went off. 25 points, 11 for 27 shooting. I think she was. Hold on. I, I had to put the shit down. I was like, oh, this motherfucker was out there balling. Was I right? Was I right? No, I was wrong. The bitch was 10 for 17 shooting. But, hey, spectacular game. 25 points she dropped on him. Angel Reese, 16 points. She had another double-double, 11 rebounds. But this is the thing, though, <laughs> that somebody told me, and I had to, to see it for myself. They was like, she get all them rebounds because it's coming off of her missed opportunities. And I was like, huh? But then I'm watching the game, and I promise, I think she got like maybe three or four offensive rebounds off of herself because she couldn't score. <laughs> Her shooting percentage is fucking terrible too. Oh, her fucking defense. Her defense. Oh my God, it takes her forever to get back on the play. And so many times the, the offensive player just blows by her and she just watched the motherfucker go. She is slow. She's really slow. There's a reason why they picked Cardosa first. I guess they want to pair them up to be like twin tower motherfuckers, but like Cardosa hurt. And then you got Angel in there who's telling the world everybody's there to see her. I mean, some people are there to see her. I have to admit, some people are there to see her. But like I also said, some people are there to just cloud chasing. Her game is awkward to me. That's just from my perspective. I'm, I'm not trying to be harmful or anything, but I didn't know anything about your game. I didn't. I've never really seen you play. That game where you and Kaylin y'all play, man, I, I end up missing it because I had to work. But I won't miss the next one. And I ain't missing the game tonight, too. So everybody who's waiting and anticip anticipating, man, I'm going to do a live reaction, live stream of that video tonight. When it come on. So y'all come on over and chill with your boy. And let's have some real life conversation and talk about this shit. Because I believe Caleb finna go in there and beat some ass tonight. I'm telling you, I think this going to be the one. This going to be the one for all of y'all who been out there waiting to see this motherfucker go out there and drop 35, 40. This is it. Because the Mystic are coming off of a back-to-back -back right now. And they are the worst team in the goddamn WNBA. The absolute worst. They know it, it's not the Fever. Although they do suck. But it's, it's not them. It is the Mystic. Zero, and I think like 10 now. Terrible. Terrible. This is going to be your third win for Caitlin Clark, and this is going to be one of their road wins. And they, they have two after this. They're going to they gonna get this game. Trust me. I, I hope in the time that they've been off, that they have been gelling, sit, going out with each other, having dinner dates, you know, sitting down, having talks, because this is what y'all need to do. None of y'all know each other very well. When you don't know somebody very well, you don't know their tendencies, Right. You don't know how they respond to certain things that you do. Right. You don't know them. So when you're in a situation with people like that and if you say anything remotely close to what a person like them, like they, a person like they don't like, 
you say or act anything like that, they're going to treat you that same way. It's going to be tough to get them back on, in, in line with you. That's why you always have to know the people that you're dealing with. You have to know the people that you're dealing with. So now the WNBA should know who the fuck this Kennedy Carter is. They should know who the hell they're dealing with. This motherfucker is, is Draymond Green. <laughs> Draymond Green even called to talk about, he put a tweet out talking about uh, that Kayla needs an enforcer. And she tweeted back at him like, what, what the fuck you mean? What's up then? What you, you got a problem with me? God damn. See, that's a problem. You motherfuckers are extremely aggressive. Y'all aggressive. I thought it was me. I thought I was being a bitch, right? I was like, man, no, nah, man, these bitches, like, they need to calm down, man. They're doing too much. They, uh, no, it, it ain't me. Y'all are super aggressive. Yeah, like, there, there are basketball players that y'all do out there, but, man, y'all be whacking the hell out of each other. I swear this shit look like goddamn a, 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 a basketball f fight match out there with y'all. It's okay. Like, I expect for y'all to bang. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how basketball is supposed to be. It's competitive, but not direct contact where you trying to hurt somebody. You might not think that that was going to happen, but you shove it to somebody and see how that shit feel. You know what? This is what I believe Kaylin's going to have to do to stop all this shit. Kaylin, the next time somebody push you, punch them in their motherfucking face. Punch them right in their shit because apparently they don't respect you. That's what it is. Like, you can go out there and try to have your best game, but they're going to try to abuse you. The second that you don't let that abuse happen no more, it's game over. It's game over. Somebody should be running up on Kennedy Carter for what the fuck she did to you. Somebody from her team. But if it ain't, I guess it's going to be like some beehive shit or the, the, the Swifties. Kaylin got, Kaylin got Kaylinese. What, what name can we give Kaylin Clark's motherfucking minions? I don't know. It's going to be some shit. We're going to come up with it sooner or later. I, I don't know. how it's gonna be, She's going to have some shit. She's going to need to. But I, but I also understand this part. And this is something that really came to mind. Because when we talk about the type of people that Caitlyn brought to the game, we don't realize this. She has brought entire families who come there with their children who want to see this person that they are idolizing right now. You know how Charles Barkley was like, I am not a role model. Well, Caitlin is. When you are a role model to people who don't have any focus or perspective on life or purpose, they don't know their purpose, and it end up being you, they want to come and vibe with you. They need your energy so they can be successful. They are in love with what you are, and it gives them hope that they can be the same. That's what that is. They come to the game to see that. And these families are coming to the game and they fucking watching fight matches. And they're like, oh shit, what the hell? What is this? Trust me. I'm telling you from a different perspective. Because this type of abuse didn't happen to her when she was in college. You think Gino Ariamo is coming out there, however you pronounce his damn name? <laughs> you think he coming out there in, in defense of Kaylin Clark like that? Seriously? She's really getting rough the fuck up. And black people over there saying, oh, it's because she white that they looking out for her. And white people over there saying, oh, it's, it's the, the black people who keep attacking her. Listen, it ain't a white or black thing, people. You know what it is? This is a chosen one moment. That's all it is. It's a chosen one moment. And if you apply the things that happen, I, I, it's, it's the easiest thing to do because everybody will recognize what I'm about to say. Jesus, right? Remember Jesus? The person that they murdered? He was great, right? Uh, supposedly from what you read in the, the Bible, how many of y'all have actually read the Bible? The way that they talk about Jesus, the thing that he did. You mean to tell me that was a motherfucker that could walk on water and heal blind people, make motherfuckers walk again? <laughs> Cure leprosy and all this other shit. Do you know what a motherfucker like that could do right now? Ain't gonna be no AIDS, HIV, Magic Johnson. <laughs> we can all get the Magic Johnson. Everybody can. Everybody get the cure for everything. If you got somebody like Jesus around and they killed that mo they killed him? Seriously? This to make you wonder when you look at Caitlin Clark because I'm gonna ask you this. For what reason would you hate her? 
Do you hate her because she sucks at playing basketball? Because apparently she don't if she broke the fucking NCAA scoring records for men and women. I don't give a damn if there's a three-point line that she was shooting from. The motherfucker can shoot from three. Can you shoot threes? That shit is not easy. It doesn't matter. She's a baller. She would have got it. She would have got it because it's meant to be. Guys, listen. What will be, will be. And right now, she is the B. And they got a problem with it that it ain't them. That's all it is. They got a problem with that it ain't them with this shit been going on for so long. Look, if anybody can can respond to what I'm saying very well, to what I'm saying, it would be Michael Jordan. Seriously. They did not like fucking Michael Jordan. Nobody did. Jordan was the only goddamn player to have his own signature shoe. Everybody in the goddamn league was wearing different color Converse. This bitch come in, he got his own fucking shoe. They stood behind him and said, this is the person that we are going to use to take us to the top. And guess what happened? He took him to the fucking top. Y'all still wearing his shoes today. Today. I don't care how you personally feel about women basketball. Because the shit is here. And if it's going to be here, it needs to be the best product possible. So Caitlyn is the person that they get behind. Y'all need to fucking trust in that. And everybody else is going to shine. Asia got her shoe deal. You can't look. Asia is the best person, the best player in the WNBA. This is what everybody's saying. She's the best, right? There is no way in hell that her being the best, she won't get paid too, just like Caitlyn. They have to incre increase in revenue and profits. People have to keep going to watch the games. People have to keep buying the merchandise. They have to keep watching on TV. They have to keep getting the views up. Guys, that's how they get profit. That's how they get paid. That's what they've been asking for. F Listen, I don't give a fuck about what they talking about no more. The WNBA players too. Fuck what they talking about. And fuck with these people out there, these fans that are going against this woman and what she can possibly do. I get it. Angel Reese is there and, and, and a lot of the other goddamn rookies. But I don't give a fuck because I'm not talking about them. They get shine from what this one does because there was nothing that the WNBA had to offer to keep anybody interested. It came out in 1997, guys. I watched it. I can't not keep stressing this. I watched that shit and I hadn't watched it in decades. I didn't even know half the teams had moved like they had. I didn't know that the fucking Aces used to be in San Antonio. Holy shit. They moved. Yeah, it's been that long. No, I, I wasn't watching. And listen, people. Let's stop saying no one, because we really don't mean no one, not in a general statement. This is what we mean. The majority of people were not watching. And this is how you can tell. Because when you go to a WNBA game, you pay 20 bucks for a ticket and you damn near sit in front row. You can look around the stands and there was nobody there. That is not a problem anymore. And why? I'll tell you why. Watch this. Because of players like AJ Wilson, who started to get it to climb. You can't deny the stats. It has it had risen 40% from 2022 to 2023. It rose. But from 2023 to 2024, that shit rose another 400% because of Caitlin Clark. So it was moving. But this person was the one that got the dial moving forward faster. Accept it. Accept that shit. And get over your fucking selves. Get, just get over yourselves. Sometimes I think I forget who I'm dealing with, right? No offense to women. No offense to y'all at, at all. But y'all do respond very, very emotionally. And if y'all are emotionally damaged, you motherfuckers are going to respond in violence. Violence. So that's what you see out there on their court. A lot of violence. There's a lot of angry motherfuckers out there that they didn't get this shit when they were in their primes. Look, I just... Just realized Sue Bird was retired. Somebody just told me. I'm like, oh shit. Even though I was just really fucking with, I was just playing. <laughs> but she's gone. So she can't reap none of these benefits that they get finna get right now. You know what this is like? This is like everybody getting NIL money and all these players who got in trouble, like Maurice Claret. It's like this is some fucked up shit. I got in trouble for what these people are getting paid for. Or check this out. Weed. Weed. Is motherfuckers in prison right now for, for weed cases. And we can go buy some weed right now and smoke it legally. This is how they feel. 
oh my God, we did all that fucking work and now y'all the ones that get to reap the benefits from it? You know what? Y'all some fucked up people because you should have been wanting to do this for the next generation. That's what this is all about. I am a part of a generation who's able to still speak the way that I do and captivate an audience and to listen to what I have to say and be able to give it to both groups because I'm right in the middle. I'm not biased. I really mean the shit that I say. Things have a purpose and purpose gets moving in the right direction when the right people get behind it. Ooh, that's a message for y'all. If y'all got to this part of the video, give this motherfucker a thumbs up and whatever the, what I said, whatever time I said that shit that I just said, because it was lovely. I know it was. Look, I got to get off this thing. The next time y'all see me, I'm probably going to be talking about that clipped, <laughs> the, the, the clipped uh, series, series about the Los Angeles Clippers and fucking Donald Sterling. You know, look, you motherfucking rich people are ignorant as fuck. Y'all are stupid. Y'all think y'all are invincible, man. Like, what the fuck was you thinking fucking with this chick? Listen, I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. She's a criminal. She's a goddamn criminal. <laughs> Praying on this old man. And look what happened to him. You don't trust him. You shouldn't have never trusted him, Donald Sterling. You shouldn't have never trusted him. And you also shouldn't have been a racist asshole. Oh, my God. Listen, this damn television show exposes so much. Why was this man walking around holding Blake Griffin's hand? This shit was like a slave uh, uh, meeting, a slave party. Like, like seriously, like with the owners and the masters. He's, he's really walking around holding Blake Griffin's hand. No wonder they talk so much shit about him. No wonder. And Matt Barnes on that team. So, look, Matt Barnes knows some shit about Blake Griffin. And I'm waiting for him to talk about it. He probably already has. But Blake that motherfucker Matt Barnes know. And even CP3, CP3, you a hoe. <laughs> CP3, really? That's how you really act? Look, I need y'all to just go watch the show. And then when you watch it, I'm going to go watch the other episodes and I'm going to come back and I'm going to give my take on it. Because this is my first reaction for that show. It's a good show. I can't wait to, to watch the work. I can't even get my words out right. Look, 16 minutes in this thing. I need to get off of it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, please, man, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. So you know when you bought the videos. And if you are not new to the, I mean, or not, if you are new to the channel, do all three of those things for your boy. Hey, y'all take care, man. You have a great day. Hey, live stream. Live stream tonight, man. Fever versus Mystics. Y'all gonna see Kaylin go off. <laughs> y'all take care. Peace.